glorify the king. 35 radio stations and, tele and about three or four television. That's good. Now, what is the criteria of opening a radio station, sir? Please, bring that to the Bahamian people. See that? That's now, good. Uh, Oika, uh, please reserve one for Amos. For Acklands. I put a radio station, and if you all don't reserve it for me, right now, I put it on cable. Cause, cause if you don't res reserve it for me, I put it. If they, I put it on satellite. Two radio stations. And the Bahamas government is in danger of a class action lawsuit by way of discrimination, egregious discrimination, brought about by intentional grounding and allowing government governmental policies, allowing the Bahamian majority of the Bahamian male to go through an educational system called social promotion. So at, for, so at least within a certain desired period of time, at least within 40 years of a nation, uh, a, a, a new nation coming off age as, as a generation old, 40 years old, they will not be able to educate, academically compete. The male, the average male, will not be able to academically compete because they would not have been schooled properly. That is absolutely egregious. I send a strong message to anyone and everyone who this is relevant to. This symbol represents everything that God Most High says this nation is and that we are in 2013 and any year between the years 1948 and 2013 any negative act that was done to a people by the sitting and former prime minister in respect to and in regards to their them as Minister of Finance, prime among equals, and for the last at least 22 years, they were black who ran the country, who had the say. Now, because of my illumination of these facts, the government of the Bahamas have embarked on an, an attempt. I thought it was only the FNM government that were guilty of it. Now I have demonstrated that the Progressive Liberal Party is also guilty of contrarily um, discriminating against this particular young man with the view of trying to get him in prison so I will not be able to communicate these things to you. Now, I want to say to the Bahamian people, for every action, there's a reaction. And like the young lady said, who have my children? Justice Milton Evans, with the greatest respect, sir, you made a rule and that, and the young lady have broken it already. So I would say every time, like she said to me, if I don't listen, I'll feel. No woman talked to a Bahamian man like that. What is going on in this country? My children is technically being hid and taken by way of help of the Bahamian court system because a young lady and a young man created a family together. They created investments together. They take on loans and different things together and now a justice have been summoned to deal with the matters between the young man, the, the young man, the young woman, their children and their investments. Decent times were chosen, 11 o'clock for both, for the man, his wife. The next hearing was the man, his wife coming to deal with the children before this Justice Milton Evans. Justice Milton Evans, sir, when the time came for the woman, the man, and the bank to meet, you said the time on a morning just like this, 9.30 in the morning. It is now, and I'm going to go outside to finish this. It is now 
7.51 in the morning. I'm listening to that show. All right? Hey, lucky baby. And at the end of this day, this is the outside of our day. And this is how it was on the morning of the 31st of May 2013. This direction of the sun. This is my mother's resident. I want anyone and every demon to understand. We must stand up. This is my mother home. And if no one believe I'm hiding from anyone, they sent my brothers to prison for two little joints for four years. Is that right? I want to ask every justice of this country.